I'm Kevin Lavroni, and I would like to invite you to come train with me at my new World Gym Fitness Center. We have the best to offer from Cybex, Flex, Hammer Strength, AFS, Step Aerobics, Child Care, Half Court Basketball, Sauna, Tanning. And you know what? We have an awesome personal one-on-one -on -one training staff so that when you need that personal attention, we can give it to you. Whatever you're looking for, we have it to offer here at World Gym Fitness Center. We're located in between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. So the next time you're out on the East Coast and you want to come train with the best, look me up. I'll be here at World Gym waiting for your call. Hi, I'm Kevin Lavroni, and I'm inviting you to spend the next three days in my world, full-blown, and that's the name of this video. Scott? Yeah, I'm ready, brother. Huh? Mm -hmm. I like to see you ready, babe. Just trying to get some carbs in me right now. You know what I mean? So what are you going to bust out tonight? You want flat benches first? Or inclines? I think we start off with flat bench. Maybe we can make sure we got enough carbs in us, babe. What do you need? We're supposed to bring that pasta over now. Where's she doing? Pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pasta, bro. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. You're gonna need it all, baby. Bust your ass tonight, that's all I need. <laughs> right now. I'll get some pasta, <laughs> me, baby. That's You're it. gonna need this whole damn plate by the time I get finished working with your ass tonight. All right. All right, baby. Well, it's always good to change the workouts anyway, you know what I mean? All right, buddy, you ready to get up out of here? Let's go. Pump up the Hey, Miss Sherry, I'll see you later, honey. Right, see you in a couple hours. All right. train, baby. Yeah. All right, basically, um, what this thing is all about here, this video is about hardcore training, 
It's about being psyched, it's about staying positive, and it's about making your dreams come true. And that's why I'm here, that's why I decided to do this video, to help you get from A to B, and hopefully to C. Maybe you can look like me. <laughs> so, uh, Scott, let's kick it, baby. We're gonna start off with some um, flat bench presses with the dumbbells, okay? It's always best to warm up and stretch out while you're doing this exercise. So maybe you want to do like four sets, eight to 10, sometimes 10 to 12, depending on how you feel that day. Today, we're feeling pretty good. So uh, we're going to pump up the vibe a little bit. talking about 120 pound dumbbells. Okay. It's good to have a spotter and a training partner to help push you and motivate you through this. Also, in between reps before you get started, it's always good to stretch. Stretch your muscles. Come on, pull. All right? Stretch your muscles, get the blood in the area. That way you're less prone to injury. Come on, pull a little more. All right. Okay. It's the fourth step. Come on. Scare <sighs> Come on, Kev. Shh. Ain't doing things. Shh. Yeah, Come on. Kev. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Good. Yes. Hey, two more, brother. Easy. Seven. Easy, Kev. Eight. Oh, you're passing me now. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's for you, baby. Sure. Show me up behind you, brother. All right. All right, well, as you guys can probably see, we switched to uh, incline presses. But what he's doing right now is getting warmed up on the incline press exercise. We're going to go straight to the hunts. All right, baby. On a pound incline. <clears throat> Twenties right now. This is my third set. So we'll be doing one twenties. Three sets so far. This is my third set. Working on it. I'm gonna do ten reps. And after this, we got one more set. Right? Can you three? One of them? Yeah. Always remember. Sometimes the training partner might might not be able to hang on everything. <laughs> It's all right, baby. We got some other body parts. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Nine. Eight. Come on. Seven. Six. Come on. Five. Come on, baby. Come on. You can't hang. You're supposed to hang. Four. Come on. Three. Come on. Shit. Come on. One more. Come on. Shit. Shit. Intensity builds immensity, baby. Intensity builds immensity, baby. All right? This is fourth set. A lot of times, you might feel yourself fatiguing. Best thing to do is to lower your reps. If you can't hang with the same amount of weight, or go up and lower your reps. Always. Leave the ego at home sometimes. Point what you want to do is your last set. It's four reps, okay? Keep the intensity in it. And don't even worry about what's going on around you. Just think about, uh, just think about how you want to look. Think about how you want to look. Okay. Up with it. I'm okay, right now. Gotcha. I got it. Come on. 
dumbbells, incline dumbbells. We're gonna take it to some cable crossovers. All right? Normally do about four sets on this exercise right here. Maybe uh, 12 to 15 reps. Let's go for a lot of feel. Flex and squeeze the muscle. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Breathe it. Yeah. Really feel it. <sighs> this right here is pretty much it's a shaping exercise. Bring the deep striations into your chest. You really want to feel it. The whole range of the movement. Flex it. Squeeze. Two. Three. All right, baby. Because uh, I'm feeling pretty good. What I'm going to do is drop the weight. And I'm gonna do maybe about 20 reps, 20 to 25 reps to really feel it. That way my mind can get into the muscle. You know what I mean? It's a mind muscle link coordination thing right here. You know? It's about bodybuilding. What you don't do, somebody else is doing. One of your competitors is doing it. Come on. Come on, baby. You gotta pump it up. What you don't do, somebody else is doing. Come on. So I train hard. Think about what I'm doing. So I can crush him. So I can take the boys out. Then they say, damn. Damn the Ronin got a secret. But they'll never know what my secret is. Because every time I come out, I'm coming out bigger, I'm coming out stronger, I'm coming out more bad. That's right. Full blown, baby. My way. We're filming right now, right? All right. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take you through a shoulder workout. First exercise for shoulders. Yeah. Front lateral raises. Come on. on this exercise. Bring the weight up. You don't really have to worry about flexing or squeezing because the weight, the feel of the weight gives you the negatives on the way down. <laughs> Grab these 50s, baby. We normally go this heavy? We're up to 70. What? What? 50 pounds? That's how I got big shoulders. Nobody got That's shoulders. That's how I got big shoulders, baby. That's how I got big shoulders. Like that, baby. Come on. Yeah. Trainer, yeah. come on, Kevin. Yeah. Big delts, yeah. yeah. Come on, Those baby. Those muscular fires. Come on. Drive it up, Kevin. Good. Come on. Come on. Don't stop. Keep going. Go pass. Go pass. Come on. Don't stop, Kevin. Go pass it. Come on. Keep going. Yeah. Good. Come on. Come on. You got three more. Come on. That's one. Come on. Two more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Don't stop. One more. Just yeah. step, baby. Yeah. Now you're starting to sound over Let's get this. One. A lot of people always ask me you know, how to get my shoulders this big or what I do for shoulders. A lot of it's genetics, but more so than anything else, it's, uh, it takes concentration and dedication to build a complete package. And shoulders always been something that, um, that I really enjoy training. So hopefully through my shoulder workout, you two can develop 
king size belts like myself. Uh, you'll learn a lot from the show to work out. Hopefully you'll follow it to the T and stick with it, just like I did. So, if you want to be number one, I'm going to show you and I'm going to help you how to get some serious belts. So let's go. Check this out. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, where we at right now? This is my second set of side lateral raises, okay? Uh, also, it's the second exercise that I do for the shoulders. Side lateral raises. What it does is pretty much hit the outer head of the shoulders, give you that round, tapered look to your shoulders. More or less like a complete look. So if you got a training partner, like I got a training partner, you don't talk too much. You got to talk to yourself. <laughs> like I'm talking to myself. Won't be number one, baby. Let's go. You know? Because when I walk out on stage, baby, baby. he ain't with me. You. I'm walking out on stage by myself. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm I hope saying. All right, baby. one day that I can see him carry that old crown, that Mr. Olympia crown, because I think if there's anybody on this earth that deserves it, it's him. He put a lot of time and work for it. And I thank God like those who give, who give back to the community. I yeah, right. It's 10, baby. All right, you remember. I started off with this exercise. Cut. Here we go. Red doubts. Red doubts. Red doubts. But when do you see the red doubt? In the back double bicep. In the back double bicep. See? Scott learned all this stuff from training with me, right, Scott? Yeah, everything I know is crazy stuff. Yeah, right. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, let's show them how to kick some red doves. All right? This is our third exercise for shoulders. Uh, for me, it's a finishing exercise. Uh, doesn't require a lot of detail, but you always want to do it in a controlled fashion. Come on. This one's for you, baby. This one's for you. This one's for you. Come on, Larry! Mm. Uh. Ten good ones, Kevin. Uh. Ten. Ten. Look at that. Uh. Come on. Uh. Come on. Be number one, baby. Come on! Uh. Drive it up, on, Kevin! Boy. Drive it up! Come Three on. more. One. Uh. Two. Uh. One more. Come on. Uh. Good. Set. Yeah, baby. That's it. That's the end of the shoulder workout. That's it, man. pump you up just like I pumped up myself. First set is a warm-up set, all right? Always, first set is always a warm-up set. Scott, here you go, buddy. Hold my telephone, all right? Okay. That was the uh, warm-up set. I'm going to do one of the two warm-up sets, then we're going to go into our workout routine. Actually, um, we're going to do four sets here once we get started. Anywhere from eight to ten reps because this is a uh, free weight. So on free weights, you always want to keep your reps down as you increase the pounding. All right? Come on, Scott. You know, I always try to stress the fact to have a um, training partner to help you with the little things like this. These are straps, and we're bringing straps into it for more support. Go, baby, come on! Every time I put chalks in my hand, I gain five pounds. Six reps. Hey, don't stop. Don't put it down. I ain't gonna let you go. Baby, we're entering no man's land now. All right? 
because everybody can't turn like this. We're gonna go to the second back exercise. One on dumbbell row. So if you can hang, come on, let's do it. Next exercise I said I was gonna take you into is one arm rows. Uh, follow me and I'll show you how it's done. I'm gonna start off with uh, maybe about 120s, turn my way up to 150. The back is uh, the back is still warm. I'm doing bent over rows. So bring the weight up, bring it up, flex it, and squeeze. Come on, flex, it, squeeze. Uh, come on, three more, man. Flex the top. Yeah. Uh, All right. A little chalk always adds to the excitement of the workout, right? Now that I'm going to 130s, I got to get a little bit more serious. I knew my limit. And now I'm back bigger and better than ever, you know? I want to say that's the name. That's one of the reasons why I came up with this name, Full Blown. Because I was full blown. Let's go, come on. Hurry up. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on, you're halfway. Cedar Rose. This is the third exercise for back. Normally on this exercise, since it's a cable exercise, I normally perform uh, four sets of 12. Uh, generally on like free weight or bar exercises, I do six to eight reps. But um, right here, since it's a cable exercise, I try to keep the reps up high because you're concentrating on form. All machines and stuff, pretty much what it is, they don't really build a lot of mass, but it helps you go in a controlled fashion so you can add that little detail in the muscles. Oh, what All can right. I say? He, he's the one who told me to start always best. free weights and see how, I, right. see how I liked it, because I always had good genetics. And I started, and now I can't stop. So now I'm addicted Keep now. Hopefully I'll be up there with him one day. Give it a little time. What? To get I will be up there with him one day. For the next step. For the next step. For the next step. All right. I got my... Okay, baby, come on! Come on, keep pulling, don't stop! I'm in your face, I'm in your face, let's go! Come on! Bob, why don't you stop? Come on, Kevin! Pull They're coming after you, baby, they can't get you! They can't get you! Pull Nobody's gonna get you! Oh, yeah! See? That's what I want to see. That's it for Cedar Rose. Check it out. Back like that, baby. You with me, 
Next exercise that I'm about to take you into is uh, lat pull downs with uh, this bar with the outside grip, just like this. And if you follow me through this exercise, it hits the outer portion of your lat. All right, baby. Check this out, baby. You with me? You with me. You gotta hang with me through this stuff, all right? Notice you got my head bent on? Change the pace, change the attitude, different exercise. You're gonna change everything all the time. Makes you bigger, makes you better. You gotta hang with me and I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. What's important is form, concentration, and to know what you're doing. All right? Back pumped up like balloons, baby. Come on, baby. Okay? Come on, baby. Oh, oh, good. That's it. Come on, concentrate on this, baby. Come on, baby. Pull it back right here. Pull it back, Kevin. Pull it up. Come on. Strict back. Back straight. Good. That's it, baby. Look at that. Look at strong. Shit, Kevin. Look at strong, brother. Come on. Pull it. Shit. That's it for back. Catch you on another workout. Peace. Let's go, baby. Think about what someone else is going through um, out there because, I mean, things get tough and things go wrong, but the bad times don't last forever. You know, it's only if you give up. But I have always believed that if you never give up, you never lose, no matter how long it takes. So I just wanted to share that little bit of, of uh, my life with you. There you go. Put that on there. I got a shirt. I brought some shirts for everybody. Hey, you look great. You look great in that, man. Keep going into it. Keep eating your Wheaties, drinking milk. You'll be ready. Hey, man, come on over here. What's your name? Nick. Nick? How you doing, Nick? What's happening, big man? Huh? How much? How old are you? Ten. Ten? Are you? All right, look, pretty big guy right here, man. How much you weigh? About 80, 85. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a shirt for you, okay? That's me. My name's Kevin, right? And I'm the world champion. And I'm your new friend. Here you go. Put that on now. All right. There you go, honey.
As you can probably see, you know, form is good. Always try to keep good form. But flex and squeeze the muscle through the whole range of movement. Like so. What's right now when I go to the gym is so, uh, I like a challenge. I always did like up. a challenge, and bodybuilding is definitely a challenge for me. exercises, as you probably just saw, standing on them dumbbell curls. Um, I, uh, I always try to stress the fact that no matter what it is that I'm doing, I always try to keep things basic, no matter what, you know? Um, everybody's got their own way of doing it, but I'm going to show you my way of doing it. Okay? Uh, I always try to keep it simple, like I said, three sets, move on to the other, other exercise. That was the first exercise. Staying out in eight dumbbell curls. Now I'm going to take you into uh, some seated hammer curls. The seated hammer curls works the outside of the bicep, right around this area. Right in here. These aren't like concentration curls where you come up and you twist. You know, you're not twisting the wrist at the top. You're coming up just like a hammer and squeezing, just like a hammer. Again, maybe six to eight reps. Right. See the hammer curls. All right? Move on to the next exercise. Got to keep it going. So this is called the easy curl bar because the way it's designed, it actually takes pressure off your wrist and your joint areas and it allows you to curl a lot easier. You know what I mean? So this is the first set. Somewhere between six to eight reps. That's why I always try to keep it between, baby. All right. So here we go. My driving point is, at this point, I have to drive myself, dig down deep. And like I said, when someone say it can't be done, that's what drives me to get it done. It's like Arno and, and Sergio and, and uh, you know, all the great champions that I looked up to before I came along. You know, barefooted, some of them trained in sandals, some of them trained in dirt. What matters was they was kicking it 
Third set, baby. Six to eight grips. Here we go. sets of uh, easy curls. That's it for biceps. Keep on pumping and training biceps like me. Maybe you do. Have some king size guns. Ba boom What I'm going to take you into right now is um, some tricep push down. Just follow me and I'll take you through this exercise. The first set is going to be a warm up set. The weight's not important, so John, make sure you don't put that camera on that weight because it's too light. It's right. Okay. It's the first set. Everybody's got their own way of doing this or their favorite exercises. If I can say, this is definitely one of my favorite exercises. I'm going to go into uh, my third set right now. Notice that I'm not going to change the weight. I'm going to keep the weight the same. If anything that I change, because it's a cable movement, I'll change my reps. I'll probably keep my reps a little higher. All right? Last set, I did uh, 12 reps. This is the third set. I'll probably go to 15 reps. All right? So let's go. how I come down and I keep the weight tight in and I try to keep my wrist in the position to where it feels really stable. A lot of people bring, a lot of people have their own way of doing it. Sometimes they'll let the wrist come back like this, but I'll try to keep the wrist down like this and try to drive the weight straight down into the ground. And as I go down, I flex the triceps, fully flex. Uh, basically what this exercise right here does is uh, hits the out ahead of the tricep right here. Guys always say, man, how'd you get your triceps so pumped up? How'd you do this for your triceps? But uh, I can say probably a lot of my tricep development came from this uh, very exercise. It's coming down, flexing, and squeezing the triceps. See how the, all this right here is developed and the horseshoe area is developed from this movement. All right? Um, we're coming up on... Uh, my uh, fourth set. Well, this is my fourth set. And I'm gonna add some weight. Here we go. Last set, baby. set of tricep push down. Now I'm going to take it to the next exercise. All right. Next exercise right here is a tricep exercise. It's called a skull crushes, baby. I do maybe three sets, okay? Six to eight reps, all right? Because right now what we're doing is building some mass. You want to start off in this position. Make sure you got the weight under control. All right, bring it down to your forehead, straight up, Just like so. Three sets, baby, stall crushes. 
192 pounds. Coming down in your face. That's it. Third exercise I do for triceps is um, behind the neck presses with uh, with the dumbbell. All right. Um, well, I like doing this exercise. I do one arm at a time. Okay. Throw the dumbbell all the way back like this to fully stretch the tricep. Come up and squeeze. Okay, what this right here does, you probably see what area it's working, but it hits the uh, long head of the tricep, all right? And you want to keep the weight to a point to where it's not taking your concentration off of the off of the muscle, you know. So you don't want to go real real heavy to where you're worrying about controlling the weight, you know. So it's really important. All right. Right now I'm going to go into my second set. That was my second set. What, what this is doing, it's hitting, when I say long head, right underneath here, okay? This this region of the tricep, all right? That's what it's hit. So when you're in this position, you come up for a front double bicep pose like this, it's giving you that full belly look to the arm. Third set, one. Triceps, that's what it's all about. Freaky triceps, baby. All right. Well, that's the end of my tricep routine. You too can have king size guns just like me. Just keep pumping up the volume. All right, baby? Full blown. See ya. All right, baby, I'm going to take you to my leg workout. We're going to start off with some uh, leg presses on the, on the press machine, okay? We're going to start off with the light warm up set. And we're going to work our way all the way out till the, till the machine can't handle no more. So let's go, baby. Take care of easy one, more. Come on. Easy one. Nationals coming up. Um, you got to have a training partner when you get into stuff like this. You know what I mean? You just can't do it solo. <clears throat> muscle we're working right here, pretty much is this muscle. Okay? Leg presses. Works this muscle right in there. You can see the muscle fibers moving. <clears throat> We're gonna rock and we're gonna roll, all right? And I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm, I'm just gonna train and I'm gonna do six to eight sets, 12 to 15 reps, and that's the way I do it. This is a workout, this is it. Cut straight to the steel, all right? And that's it, nothing pretty about it. You wanna get big, you gotta train like an animal, okay? And you ain't got a bunch of time to be talking in between sets. Through all the bullshit. Shit getting crazy. Nasty. Don't know what set it is. It don't matter. All I know is I'm keeping all pumping. It don't matter, baby. Let's see what you got. Ah. Ah. Yeah, they don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. Ten good ones. Come on. Two, good. One. Come on. Three. Good and clean, baby. Come on. Uh. Yeah, don't stop. Uh, Come on. Yeah, don't you stop. Yeah, I'm on your ass that next set. You hear me? Hey. I'm going to do more to you. Let's go. Nine. Come on. Uh, good. Uh, do it all, baby. 
standing for him next on stage. You need a train apart. Shit, I'm so happy with that, I don't even want to take the plates off. 30 plates on each side, that's the machine, so that's how I train. And that's it, baby. Full blown. I'm going to do three sets of hack squats. Uh, this is a machine, so I'm going to do, baby, about 10 to 12 reps, three sets. toes slightly turned out like this. All right, the only thing I vary, I vary is uh, first set like this, second set like this, all right? Right now, what we're doing is hitting right out here through this area, and we're building the sweep up on the quads, all right? How squats also hits the hamstring area down through here, okay? Um, this position with my feet turned straight like this, it's hitting more right here. You know what I mean? When I turn my toes like this to come up, it's hitting more on that sweep. So my thighs will flare out. All right, you don't have to use a lot of weight on this exercise because you're really concentrating on shaping and defining the muscle areas. shaping exercise, but the quads builds that outer sweep to the quads, coming from here to here. End of my hat squats. Uh, next exercise I'm going to take it to is leg extension, all right? So follow me, let's go. Ready? Okay. Um, 
right now I'm going to take you guys through some uh, leg extensions, all right? This is my third exercise in my leg workout. I'm going to come up, flex and squeeze the muscle, all right? This is a uh, machine exercise again. So what we're doing is uh, 12 reps, okay? <clears throat> Going up to the last set. <laughs> Okay, baby. All right, next exercise I'm going to take you guys through is uh, leg curls. Nobody don't believe it, but you're going you're gonna to find out how I built my freaky hamstrings. Boy, I love this machine right here. I stay, I stay at this machine maybe 8 to 10 sets, okay? Anywhere from 12 to 13 reps to 15 reps, depending on how I feel. I don't like leaving this thing. This is how I built my hamstrings. Right here, all day, every leg day. I love hanging out right here. I don't care if it's a long line. I, all the way out to the door waiting to get to this thing. I won't leave it until I got my hamstrings pumped, pumped up to the max. All right? So I'm going to show you guys how I do it, okay? Um, start off with maybe about 60 pounds. Get my hamstrings nice and warmed up. All right, bring the weight up, flex and squeeze. Flex, squeeze it, cranking it up. My second set. Yeah, see how the hamstrings starting to flare out? Starting to look crazy. See that, John? See that thing starting to hang out? You gotta want it. You gotta live for it. You gotta eat it. You gotta sleep it. Mm, you gotta breathe it, baby. Ah. Mm. All right. We're crank. I'm at 120 pounds right now. Well, once somebody asked me one time, do I have any kids? These are my babies. My muscles. This is little Tommy. This is little Ben. This is Jeannie. That's Mary. This little Louie. This is bigger brother Louie right here. This one right here, little Max, big Max. This guy in between here, he's just trying to be nosy to find out what they're doing. Like that, John? All right, baby, come on. Let's get some more shit going on. bodybuilders got something that's special, you know, and I got to give it up to the guys, you know what I mean, I got to give it up to all of them that's got great body parts, ain't taking nothing away from nobody, Nihani awesome back, doing Yates awesome back, my boy Flex Wheeler, awesome personality, nice back, awesome shape, you got to give it up, you know, no doubt about that. Guys like that inspire me to keep me pumping, you know? So, Sean Ray, I didn't forget about you, all right? All right. <laughs> I didn't forget about you, boy. <laughs> you got it going on too, bro. But uh, I got to get it going on with this next set, all right? Because this is what's going to help me out. Help me get my shit together right here. You're going to be surprised about my hamstring workout. That's it. That's all I do for hamstrings. 
but it's intensity that builds immensity. And that's what you want. A, B equals C. You can't jump from A to Z. All right, it's everything in between. And what I just did was everything in between. Simple, basic, straight to the point. C. Hi, I'm Kevin Lombroni. I'm inviting you to spend the next three days in my world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take 15. Okay. In five. Yeah. Four. In you five. Three. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah, you're ready. Hi, I'm Kevin Lombroni. And I'm inviting you to spend the next three days in my world. Full blown. Uh, I think that's the name of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm glad we don't have to put a two-hour movie together on you. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Take 107. All right. Hold your breath so your head can blow off. Hold your breath so your head can blow off. Ah! 